Hatapu, Hatapu, Heru Nefer, Heru Nefer. Peace and blessings to you. It's good to see you. Hope all is well. Let's get it in, shall we? All right, good to see everyone. We're going to get it in. We're going to start with our all over body check in after our shiasha. Then we're going to get into some Asar stance, get into some form. As we get into the short form, then we'll get into alternate nostril breathing after, of course, you know, Qigong and stuff in there. And then we'll get into the wisdom from the sages of the ages and close out with our shiasha. And as we head towards the end of the summer fast, summer solstice fast and head in, hope everyone is doing well and that they are managing well. Looks like this weekend we'll be broadcasting and checking in with folks. We had some technical issues previously, but we've found a way to work through those and we'll be able to check in with y'all. All right. So while we have it, Let's get to it. Wushi. Right. Well, the masters have gone before us. We bow. Teacher to student. Student to teacher. All right. Now, we're going to feet parallel, shoulders width, so we want to start in Wuchi position, right? So we're going to get that practice in, shift the weight up on the toes, step shoulders width, pivot as you shift. The feet are now straight and parallel. Hopefully you can see the feet here, bring the hands up. So shift that weight and start with the left foot. Draw a circle with the toes. And then we change direction. Gonna slip the foot down on the heel. Wiggle the toes. Start with the big toe by itself and then work your way down one toe at a time to the pinky toe. Set the foot down. Shift the weight on the toes, pick it up. And draw a circle with the toes. And change direction. Set it down, heel first. Wiggle the toes. Start with the big toe, then work your way down to the pinky toe, one toe at a time. Set the feet down, drop the hands. And work the shoulder. Take it to the front. All right, switch shoulders. And we take it to the front. All right, now we're going to start with the left hand. Hands direction. And wiggle the fingers, one at a time. Changing hands. And change direction. Wiggle the fingers, 
and then one at a time. Now we're going to drop that hand. We're going to take the head left to right. Looking over the shoulders. Well, we're looking over the left shoulder, we're going to take the chin down and up. Well, looking over the right shoulder, we'll take the chin down and up. Front and center, and down and up. Take the head around in a circle. Change the direction. And breathing in the front and center. And we're going to shake it out opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, now from here, again, we were at feet parallel, shoulders width. Now shift that weight, pivot, and slide the foot back into Wuchi position. All right, because we're going to move everything again back and forth, working on moving from Wuchi into feet parallel and to extended beyond feet parallel. So as we get into a SAR stance, you're going to bring it in here to pyramid hands. Gonna shift the weight again up on the toes. You're gonna step a little wider than shoulders width. Heel first. Balance the weight. Sit down on those thighs. Tuck the bottom. Over the hands. Twelve breaths.
Clean it with hands. Shift the weight back to that right leg inside the left foot in the Uchi position. Balance it out, drop the hands, shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, back into Uchi. Let's go on the feet parallel, shoulders width. All right, let's get together here. Place the hands like so. You're going to take the right hand up, breathing in. Out, exchanging hands. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Keep the right hand up as you breathe out. Palms up, breathing in. Breathing in some more. In. Fill up. Turn to your right. Turn to your left. Front and center. Exhale. And into the gathering. With the pyramid hands. As you exhale, reach for the toes. Bend from the waist, extend the arms, drop the head. Inhale, back into pyramid hands. Exhale, reaching for the toes. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And stay right here. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Drop the hands. Shake it out opposite hand, opposite leg. Back to feet parallel, shoulders width. We're going to get in swinging arms. Here we go. Let him swing. All right. Now we are right at the beginning of the new moon phase. So we're going to get into our Wuchi position. We're going to do our lunar cycle portion of the form. Second down, let's begin. We ward off to the 
right? Right. Now, we'll start. Uchi. Excuse me. There we go. I'm going to do the short form now. Okay. Let me get that right foot step. Oh, going the wrong way. Excuse me. On our left foot stepping out. And rises. And we're going to get it in. Grab a seat for the also nostril breathing. Sit tall. Thumb and next finger. Palm up, the right, left thumb, middle next finger, the center of the forehead. Breathing in. Out. And out and out. Fire breath. Deep breath in and release. Switching hands, no breath. Breathing in. Out and out and out. Fire breath. Deep breath in and release. Both hands, thumb and index finger touching, palms up, breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Fire breath. Deep breath in. Chin down. And release. 
Palms down on top of the knees, breathing in through the nose. Cleansing breath out through the mouth. In through the nose. Cleansing breath out through the mouth. In through the nose. And then out through the mouth. All right, excellent. We get into our wisdom from the sages of the ages. And as usual, we'll start with the essence of Tai Chi Chuan, the literary tradition. The whole body relies on the spirit, not on the breath. If it relied on the breath, it would become stagnant. If there is breath, there is no external strength. If there is no breath, there is pure steel. Teachings of Pata Hatep, oldest book in the world. Ah, went too far and got into the bibliography there. All right, here we go. <laughs> If you meet a disputant in action who is a poor one and who is not your equal, do not attack them because they are weak. Leave them alone. They will confound themselves. Do not answer them just so that you can relieve your own heart. Do not vent yourself against your opponent. Wretched is one who injures a poor one. If you ignore them, listeners will wish to do what you want. You will beat them through their reproof. We have Dr. Ching. Trust in faith. Nothing in the world surpasses water in softness and weakness. Yet among things that attack the hard and strong, None can do a better job than water. Nothing can serve as its substitute. Therefore, the weak overcomes the strong, the soft overcomes the hard. Few in the world do not know this, yet nobody is able to put it into practice. Therefore, the sage says, one who bears the blame for the ignominy of his country can be called Lord of the state. One who bears the blame for the misfortune of his country can become king of the world. Statements of the truth seem paradoxical. All right. There we go with our wisdom from the sages of the ages. Yeah, it's a new moon time, so be sure to write down those desires and those wants, those things you want to accomplish draw them into fullness as the moon begins to wax full. Spend some time with your folks. Spend some time in relaxation and meditation. Hopefully you're not watching too much of the commercial television and radio during our fast, and you are getting it in. We will be broadcasting, you know, once. We'll see what we can do. We'll definitely get it out to folks. We will be broadcasting, of course, the Sunday after the fast ends usually like to check in with folks and see how it went. This fast for me has been really challenging. So I'll be sure to highlight and share some of those things just in terms of how you share a household if you're the only person fasting. What does that look like? What does that feel like? You know, so it's really a lot of fun and it gives you an opportunity to really know yourself better. And with that, I want to say, that's it. let's bow out. We say, to all the masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher, Ashe. We want to give homage to the eternal witnesses of the earth and sky and praise to the ancestors as we say, Atep. Peace to you, Ankh Uja Seneb, life, health, and strength to you. And Amenre Nesut Neche, Atenre Neb and Ankh. The hidden reveals the reveal, the reveal rules life. Be well, do well, receive well.
Peace. Practice. Get the homework. Get the homework done. We want to build up to 20 minutes in our SR stance. We want to get those push-ups in the right place. If you're still doing, we're doing the the beginner push-ups, and then we get to the standard push-up position. We're holding it for 25 seconds. We got the simple kneeling, both positions. Get those in. As we head into July and August, we're going to begin showing you the starting movements, and the body has to be strong enough to get itself up and down from the ground without using your hands. Because we don't have any old people. Old is a state of mind, not a state of being. That's a boo.